Atlantis Houston for the commander and pilot. Com check on air to ground one. Good on clear. Pilot loud and clear. We read you loud and clear also. Atlantis launch director. Go ahead. Okay, Steve, looks like the uh, vehicle and the weather has come together. So uh, we wish you luck on the final assembly mission of phase two of the International Space Station. Good luck and have a great flight. Great. We appreciate all the work uh, the teams put down here uh, getting the vehicle ready to launch and uh, we appreciate all the work of the station and shuttle program getting us ready to launch uh, the airlock uh, and put it on the space station. Very good. Thank you. And NTD launch director, with that, you're clear to proceed. Okay. Copy. Thank you. Then the clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. GLS auto sequence has been initiated. GLS is go for OAA retack. Clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Okay, caution warning is clear, no unexpected errors. The gaseous oxygen pin hood is being retracted. system is now being activated, We're arming the firing chain. 15. Safety inhibits are now removed. Launch ignition system is armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, launching a door to partnerships in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roll program. Atlantis, Houston, roger roll. Atlantis into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads-down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Atlantis beginning its chase of the International Space Station, a 42 hour pursuit of the facility. into the flight. Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72 percent of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. One minute into the flight, those main engines now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104 percent of rated performance. Good engine performance, good fuel cells, good three hydraulic power units. Go ahead, throttle up. Up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Capcom uh, Gus Loria to Commander Steve Lindsay aboard Atlantis. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Janet Cavandi, and mission specialist Mike Gernhardt. Jim Riley seated alone down on the mid deck. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight, Atlantis already 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems functioning perfectly at this moment. Atlantis traveling 2,900 miles per hour, now 27 miles downrange. 
and a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging aboard Atlantis. The onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, two engine tail. Copy, two engine tail. That call from Capcom Gus Loria indicating that if one main engine should fail, Atlantis could uh, make a transit oceanic abort to Zaragoza, Spain. However, all three main engines are performing flawlessly. A perfect start to the 10th assembly flight to the International Space Station.